Hey again, it's Shane here from snapseedstudio.com. Today I'm going to go through one of my favorite subjects, which is street art. Just love what these artists can produce. Just absolutely stunning. So trying to get the right photo is, um, is not particularly hard when it comes to street art. Um, keeping a contrast right is really important. Don't overexpose it and don't underexpose it. And yeah, try and get it as square as you can. And then we'll just use Snapseed to, um, I guess, extract the best out of it in whatever way you want. So the first thing I want to do here is I just want to cr uh, crop it. I'm not too fussed about the perspective in this case. I just want to get rid of that sign on the right and probably a little bit of yellow at the bottom as well. Bring it in so it's a really intense kind of shot. This, the artist has made a very intense piece here when it comes to the eyes. The detail is phenomenal. I'll zoom in on it in a second show you. So yeah, crop that and instantly I've got something really amazing. Look at that detail, just incredible. I won't be doing a lot to this image because I feel that it, um, it's already carrying a lot of strength in it. Um, there's not a lot I probably need to do, but good cropping makes a major difference. So I'm just gonna give a little bit, it does look a bit heavy in the shadows and I think the saturation is good. I don't mind just punch it out a little bit more there's not much more I really need to do I think um, I'm a bit unsure about the top right hand side in here like this little spot up in here it's interesting not really um, so let's have a look at my tools and see if I can do something with it all right so just looking at this image um, I'm pretty happy with a, a lot of that there's probably not a whole lot more that I need to do with it. It's just a good, clean, straight image. I think I may crop it a little bit more. Bring it in, bring it back a fraction. I think that works a bit better. Just it was a bit too much white on the left and then it was a bit of a distraction on the right as well. Yeah, that's starting to look a bit better. I'm still a bit unsure though, because now there's a graphic that's not quite working on the left for me. So yeah, getting this right is a bit of a balance. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so um, from here, I might just have a look at the contrast. So I pulled the sh uh, shadow out a bit before. I think, yeah, see, it just looks wrong and just looks too intense. And then if you make it too flat, so I don't think we need to do much more for that. I could try and put a vignette on the side. a fraction and to an inner one there's a lot of highlight there on her around this part I think I might bring it over here a little bit more just to use it to create a bit of balance as well so yeah by and large I think I'm pretty happy with this I don't actually want to put any blurs on it I think the three uh, main areas of the type on the left and the right and the colors and the face are pretty cool by themselves so all I've really done is I've just added a little bit more depth to this image, cropped it out, got rid of the distractions um, to make a really intense image that, and story that you just want to focus on. So you can post this to um, your Instagram or your Facebook and yeah, it's just a nice shot that people would enjoy looking at. So if you're looking for um, more tips on how to use Snapseed, just go to snapseedstudio.com or changetopicimages.com and uh, yes, yeah, see if you can really bring some of those photos to life. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.